Good morning, Horn Frogs. I tell you what, it's Memorial Day here, and of course, it's a great day to recognize our veterans more yes, than just about anything yes, else to be here uh, and what they have done for us in our country. It's a special day for another reason. It is a special day for another reason because today is selection day here for the Horn Frogs. And uh, actually, even though we know we're going to get a regional at this point, we don't know if we're going to be a national seed and be able to get a super regional. Wes, what do you think our odd Man, chances that's, are? Uh, if we had had that little stumble at the end, I would have been at the tournament. I would have been a lot more um, uh, comfortable with it. Right now, I'm just hoping. Just hoping. Well, well I think we're all kind of in that position. Uh, you know, the, the thing the tournament's got to look, TCU's done such a great job in the last several years, especially from a regional and national seed. Uh, last year, we took it, did great things with that, went on down, and our fan base is so good. We support the regionals and super regionals so well here. And, you know, really, last 20 games, we're 17 and three. Well, that's you true. Know, 17 and three, that's hard to beat. There's not many people who say they're 17 we, and three. We still got one of the better records in the country. Absolutely. No matter how you slice it. And you gotta think, uh, as I think Augie is probably the master at this, when he would win conference championships in the past, a lot of time he would bomb to save his pitching in the conference tournaments. And I'm not saying that's what uh, Coach Schlossnagel and the Frogs have done here, but you've got to think they were looking ahead to this to this day and getting ready for regional. They had already done a f fantastic job uh, and very, very strong at the end. Well, I, I'm not sure I'd agree with that philosophy if that's what they're doing, but, right. you know, uh, it is what it is, and we'll look forward to what happened here in a few minutes. Well, I, d I don't think it's what they're doing once the Baylor deal happened. And we lost the Baylor game. I know they didn't want to go spending all their pitching, and, and so I, I, I really didn't expect the uh, Baylor deal to happen. But after that, Oklahoma State—I mean, it wasn't Oklahoma State? Excuse me, Texas Tech. Texas Tech, Texas Tech uh, put it on us like that. We played pretty well, unenthused. It looked like that morning, and so I think we were looking ahead to other things at that point. And you can hardly blame them. It is a. This is a very. Uh, tricky situation you get this time of year, especially when you're thinking about your pitching. Absolutely. And of course, this is the team built around tournament baseball. So we've got a deep pitching staff. Hopefully they got a little rest and ready to go for the reach. Absolutely. Well, we're fixing to find out here in a few minutes. I know we got Sean Fouché here today helping us out today again. As usual, the backbone of uh, Killer Frogs. And uh, we're going to find out some things. Hopefully we'll be able to talk with a few people about that. We'll be here for the selection show here in a minute. And we'll all know. Let's let it roll. Thanks. Go Frogs. Go Frogs. Yeah, just really happy for our fans. I mean, I know that they've uh, put a lot of discussion about it. Uh, there hasn't been as much discussion about it amongst our team, uh, but certainly I know the fans, you know, are fired up about it. And you know, it's, it's always good to, to see them happy, and we'll try and keep them happy this weekend. The Emperor here, Chris Del Conte. <laughs> hey, we're back in the same position we were last year. Number seven national seed. This is a big deal for TCU again. Oh, it's awesome. What Jim has done with the baseball program to be, uh, you think about it, as many times we've gone to Omaha to be two time national, uh, get a national seed two years in a row. Speaks volumes of the program and speaks volumes of him and his leadership. Leadership, great. And he's got a great staff. I mean, yeah. those guys get along. They're family, man. I mean, these guys get along. He's got the kids doing, got some great senior leadership this year. Uh, I mean, had the player of the year in the Big 12. That's big. Well, you think about when you think about Jimmy's and Joe's, you recruit with players, right? And you win with players, and he has the best staff he's ever had, according to Jim. Right. And you can see the output. Uh, Sarvos is an incredible pitching coach. You look at what's happening in the hitting, in our hitting program, and our fielding. Everything has gone to according to what Jim planned, wanted to have planned, done, and here we are. Seventh seed heading into, uh, we have Stony Brook. It's like an all eastern, eastern coast yeah, uh, that, uh, here in Fort Worth, right? Yeah. We have, Hey, when we went to the Big East, everyone's giving me crap. <laughs> there we well. go. They, 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 all the East Coast teams are here. No, right? you're, you're the man, man. So we're here not, we go. Not, we got we're Stony not about Brook, to... Sacred Heart, and NC State. All right, guys, we got the California Flash in here. <laughs> Keaton Jones, what are we going to do without you? I mean, you've been four years of excellence for us here at Shortstop. I, I tell you, you, you came on the hill of a really good baseball player, but he didn't have the consistency you've had for four years. Uh, tell us, how, how have you been able to be consistent for four years and be the player that you've been here at TCU? 
Well, I guess I'd say confidence in myself. Um, honestly, keep, and staying healthy. Is it that California dude swag? Is that some <laughs> part of it or what? You know, I, I don't know, you honestly. Don't know? Um, I think I'm more Texan than I am California. There now. we go. There, you go. But, there we go. Um, honestly, I'd just say staying healthy. And when I'm healthy, I, I play better. So, I mean, I think everyone does. Yeah. Right. Um, but I think well, you've gotten pretty... quite a bit bigger and stronger since you've been here, too. Sure. I mean, you came in here. You know, you were limping in, dripping wet. What, 150 pounds or more? A little bit there? Not much I mean, more than that. It was a little. That's a little exaggerated. It was more around 175. Yeah, well, that's kind of like me. I'm. <laughs> that'd be like me exaggerating 275. Yeah, we need the same difference. <laughs> hey, Killer Frog, another superstar from this season. What do you think, Wes? I I'm, mean, I'm, I'm humbled. I'm presence. humbled, right? In the presence of uh, four-year man, we're, we're so lucky to have had you four years. How do you get an All-American pitcher like this? For four years, that's incredible. It but we incredible. were very fortunate uh, to have him. I know what kind of guy he is. I know what his parents are like. Good stock of guys. Um, tell me, what has your experience been like over the four years here at TCU, Preston? I've been so blessed. Every day, you know, from all across the campus to you know the classes, the weight room, uh, coming every day to be around great coaches and great players. It only makes me better as a person. At, as a player and that's all I can really ask for and so I know I don't want to leave this place but uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, it's awesome you're 11 and 2 this year uh, you're incoming All-American you'll certainly I'm sure be on All-American clubs again uh, or a super lad on the Big 12 team. I, You know you're impressive because you're that uh, Maddox type pitcher and everybody talks about that you're not an overpowering pitcher but you've got that movement on the ball and uh, uh, you seem to know where you're putting it about every time it, but it's with that movement and pitchers I mean uh, hitters have a really hard time picking up your ball and staying on it right I mean I think pitching for for me at least is you know more of an art than a science it's, right. it's not cookie cutter for me if I'm feeling something to put a little more on the ball or put a little more movement on the ball then I'll do it and so it's just about you know having fun and be able to being able to compete every pitch. And so for me, that's that's been the best part about playing baseball well, here. I think what's been fun is for four years, listening to batters from the other team walk back <laughs> to the dugout, shaking their heads and cursing. Yeah, they, they can't they hit They're frustrated. They're fr I, I get a little smile when I hear that, you know, helmet hit the floor. <laughs> yeah. Balls and strikes. Wow. Big news today, of course, number seven seed again. Got its College World Series last year. Yeah. You got to feel good about the matchups. You know, it looks like a, a good regional for us. Oh, no doubt. I mean, we're looking pretty confident. Uh, I mean, you never know, but like anything can happen with baseball. Right. So, I mean, you saw the regionals last year. Right. A lot of uh, extra in games with some teams that we thought we would just roll through. So, okay. you never know. Uh, we just got to. Keep, just play our game and not really worry about the name on the front of the jersey. Well, and, and you know, I've noticed of late this year, I've actually seen him almost go to softball type uh, antics. You know, where you go in softball and try to place the ball right field. These guys have cut down their swing and put it down, and they're just trying to make some kind of contact. Just a lot of the hits that you give up now are little bitty bloops out to the outfield. You know, it's not hard, hard uh, deals, and they, they've tried everything they know to try to hit you. Uh, the only one that seemed to have an answer for you lately, unfortunately, were those Red Raiders out of Tech. I don't, I, they must have found uh, some kryptonite or something and put it in your underwear. That's all I can figure out. I, I mean, how did they take Superman down? I don't get that. Maybe, I don't know, but, uh, you know, they're a good hitting team, and I didn't put a, together a really good start, and that's what happens. They, they put some good swings on some balls, but that happens. That's baseball. You're not going to win every game. It's all about how you respond to that. <laughs> in, in, in the middle of this, we do have to be congratulate you for Athletic Director of the Year. I mean, awesome. that's a national award. That's that's awesome, and we're very proud. Uh, uh, you've pretty, done some great things here. Pretty you impressive. Know. We got the football coach of the year, yeah, football, the baseball, baseball coach, coach of the year, coach and the player of the year. We yeah. got we got a lot of great things going on at TCU. All kidding aside, thanks for the year. Thanks for the four years you've given us. We hope to talk again here uh, with some big. Super loud as you're going to do for us here in the regional and super regionals, maybe at press conference and stuff. But uh, uh, we will talk again. But we do want to, Wes and I, and uh, Killer Frog, want to thank you and all the fans out there for your four years here because you have made an impact here at TCU. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. That. Appreciate it. It's been a joy watching. Thank Absolutely. You. How about a big go frog? Go, go frogs. frogs. Go frogs. Well, number seven seed.
we didn't give up anything as far as uh, what was going to happen for us for regional, super regional, and the super. It all turned out, and you get some extra rest out of this, Debbie, you and your teammates, right. which is really good. So y'all are going to be fresh, ready to hit this regional good and hard, right? Yes, sir. All right, Absolutely. then. All right. Again, Preston, thank you so much. We're thrilled to have had you, another four-year guy. Uh, we just talked to Keaton Jones. Oh, Keaton, I mean, you guys have been here together the whole run. That's yeah. It's pretty special, some of you seniors. That's awesome. It's Absolutely. been so much fun. All right, then. I mean, Preston, <laughs> thank you very much. I got, we got two Prestons now. I can't mess that up now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> got another good little Preston freshman in yeah. there. He's going to be pretty good. He, are you teaching him some stuff? He, he likes to talk to me about throwing side, but there. it's good. And well, I've <laughs> he's heard good. he's moved his arm down a little yeah. bit, got some movement. He's got AKA a little more cheese AKA Preston than Morris and the Guillory, huh? There we go. That's good. Thanks a lot. How about a big kill? Go Frogs. Go Frogs. Go Frogs. There we go. Big weekend this weekend. Go. I mean, big, expect big crowds. May have some weather issues, but uh, I still, I expect us to be really packed out here. Well, we're going to need every single Horn Frog that's within a 100 mile radius to show up here because when you have the teams that we have in, a, a good NC State team, a Sacred Heart and uh, a Stony Brook, they're all coming in. Those are East Coast teams. They're not going to bring a lot of fans. Right, so we no. know we are going to have to provide that energy. I think back to that 22-inning uh, game last year against Sam Houston. What won that game was the energy in the crowd, right? So we're going to need everybody here in that game. The invention the of the were, woo was that night. The, the invention of the, the woo, woo that, that night. night. So that, <laughs> yeah. to me, as I look back to what a defining moment that was for our program, that's probably a defining moment when our crowd really played a huge impact in us getting right, into right. A, to the Super Regional. Now, paired up with the Aggies in the Super Regional, what a sh what a Texas showdown that oh, would be if we, get, fun, if, we're right. for, if we get enough, if we're fortunate enough to get out of the regional. Right, and we'll have the berms open up in the outfield and stuff. Well, uh, if it's this dry, weekend. well, if it's dry. <laughs> it's dry. Out I there. mean, we'll put it wet, but you know, someone's hiney's going to get wet. So okay, as long, as you can sell blankets out there. There, there we go. I have never missed an opportunity. To sell well, yeah, no, like no, I said, no, I, if there's we'll, money to be made, we, that we'll, could we'll, be we'll, it. Maybe a slide out there for the kids. We took the slide out. We took the slide away because people were getting injured. Okay, all right. So now we have a Machu Picchu terrace. Well, okay. well, Chris, we appreciate your time with us today. Again, great weekend coming up. We'll be talking to you more, hopefully, in the next couple of weeks on our way to Omaha. Hope so. Thank you very appreciate much, you Chris. Guys. Thanks, Chris. Chris Delcott. Go, Frogs. Go, Frogs. There we go.